three verse has four. Believe me when I tell you, there's a reason for one word on a line and 20 on one line at some point, you know, when you begin to hear it, understand it. And I began that whole process of learning form. But I also, she taught us how to have a notebook and put um, a, a, a date set. She had to send poems out to magazines and to journals and to poetry journals that, um, that uh, published poetry like you wrote, the kind that you wrote. And so we began to do that because she turned and said, someone said in the class, well, I don't want to publish. And she said, well, I don't know why you're in here then. Uh, because everybody wants to publish. Come on, people. Hey guys, welcome to Philly Close Up. When stars come to Philly, we get you close up. And today we are at the African American Museum for Art Sanctuary's 32nd annual celebration of black arts with the legendary activist and poet, Dr. Sonia Sanchez, thank you so much for joining us today. It's good being here, my dear sister. It's truly an honor. Mm -hmm. How does it feel like for you to be the voice of so many? Because so much of the material that you spoke about, that you continue to speak about, they're not easy topics. And a lot of people don't have the courage to say what you say so eloquently. Well, you know, my sister, I, I think that we do have the courage. Sometimes we're not encouraged to do it, you know, or it's not discussed. Uh, or we're told, if you do that, you won't get in grad school, or you won't get a job, or you won't get a good grade, or you won't whatever. But you know, at some point, we have to, to dare to do, to do that which we are afraid to do. Yes. Uh, and um, I had some great mentors and people and, you know, ahead of me. Um, and so I was able to see them and view them and talk to them and follow them around. And they encouraged me to do what I did, what I learned how to do. So, um, you know, Jean Hudson, who was the curator at the Schomburg, Queen Mother Moore, you know, who, um, uh, Gwendolyn Brooks, Margaret Walker, Malcolm Martin, you know, all of those people, um, uh, Elizabeth Catlett, the great sculptor, you know, who was very political yes. um, uh, woman. Uh, all of these people, Yuri Kochiyama, who is the woman that you will see trying to blow air into Malcolm's uh, mouth after he was assassinated. That woman, that was Yuri Kochiyama there. I mean, there's so many people who have done so much work, Sister Maya, you know, and, and all the work that she has done. I mean, they encouraged us, Gwendolyn Brooks, Margaret Walker, you know, um, Dudley Randall, um, Sterling, Sterling Brown, these poets, uh, these activists, uh, Jimmy, the great Jimmy Baldwin. Yes. Uh, I mean, these people, told us and made us understand that we had to speak up if we knew the truth. Yeah. Right. I know sometimes it's just, it's difficult, even now when we think about it, because there are so many people that say, oh, you're a woman or you're a black woman, so you can't do this. So it's great to have people like you and people mm -hmm. that preceded you mm -hmm. to kind of give us that push when we might not feel like we can do it. Well, that's one of the reasons why, actually the main reason that I said, yes, I would do this film because I think that young women and young men had to see that people decided to pick up the mantle from people like Du Bois, from people like Brooks, you know, uh, from people like Malcolm, from people like Martin, and continue this whole trek Absolutely. right here. Uh, so that was important for them to see and understand that, right. What do you think sharpened those razor blades uh, between your teeth the most over the years? <laughs> uh, Always the injustice, you know, um, always our prime move as people in the black arts, right, was to put the black man and black woman back on the world stage. We've been taken off a of world stage. We were buffons, you know. We were just servants, you know. We were just, you know, uh, people dancing all the time, you know. We didn't have sane thoughts. We didn't have intelligent thoughts. Uh, when I got up on the stage and said, I'm a black woman poet, people laughed. I mean, who ever heard of a black woman poet, right? And the point is that we say, oh, you're going to hear, you're gonna hear, hear about us today. now, right? Yeah. <laughs> And you also taught the history and history that there were many black women writers and poets out there in the world. So yeah, um, that's what you did, my dear sister. Um, and you know, it's when you take that first step that you get more courage. It's always that first step doing something. Every morning I get up in my neighborhood and you know, people put dirt all over. They throw stuff around. I sweep up the, the block. 
Yeah. My block, you know, mine, my neighbors, and my next door neighbor. Uh, why? Someone said to me, why are you doing that, uh, Professor Sanchez? That's not your house. Yes, it is. Yeah. I mean, my house is that house and that house because we're all in the same Community. neighborhood. That's right. right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, one of your pieces that touches me the most is the piece that you did on the move bombing right here in Philadelphia. Right. Um, and there's a, a section at the very end of it where you say that we're still searching for um, honor, I believe it is. Do you and think honor day. and peace, how do you one think day. we can get right. there one day? How yeah, can we get well, there? well, we will get that certainly with you young people. I mean, you young people now coming along. You must study what we've done. You must look at, you must always listen. I used to tell my students always, I would have, when I taught Marcus Garvey at Temple, I had the brothers and sisters from the UNIA who were right there in North Philadelphia still come and speak to my students. It was more than I could ever teach. And my students would sit back and cry as they listened to those men and women who had decided to challenge America also to in their own time. And they were still part of an organization, which was amazing, really amazing. Truly. Right, yeah. What would you like to see happen for the black arts movement moving forward? Oh, uh, well, you know, I, I, I think that uh, uh, people must study, uh, people must write, people must also teach at the same time. Uh, people must encourage uh, young people to write. Um, and also older people. Every time, whenever I do workshops, I have uh, the very young and older people sitting there who want to write also too. So it's a, it's a wide range. Yeah. It's a great range of people. And that's important too. But I think we must always understand that uh, when we write, we must tell our stories. And we must tell our stories because uh, people will uh, uh, not tell the story the way it should be told. True. So it's, it's incumbent upon us as writers, as poets and, and novelists and short story writers and hip hop artists, you know, and singers uh, and dancers to go and say, this is our story. This is what it should be about. This is, what, this is how we have lived. This is how we have struggled. This is how we have survived. This is how we live. And this is how we want to live also too, uh, while we're here on this earth. So that's important, right. Well, that's all the time we have on My New Philly, where something is always new. Everything is always Philly, Philly. What did you say? Philly. I said Philly, Philadelphia. Everything is always Philly. Mm. <laughs> okay. Thank you so You're much. welcome. Thank you.